that our where we are now is basically because of the stakeholder that we have. You know, it's, 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 it's an initiative being driven by the council and the entire community. And obviously, uh, by by voting, obviously, you need the communities, you need the residents, you need the friends of Rajamon. And uh, obviously, Rajamon is it, 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 it's it's um, uh, it's one of those places that um, appeal to many people. Not only Namibians, but you know, beyond Namibian. And the moment you mention Oranyamon, basically you're reaching out to many people that have lived, worked, and um, uh, with their family in Oranyamon. That's very important. But the only time that you can say we live up to the environment, um, we have the national park, we have the town that you know, connects to the nature in terms of, of wildlife, in terms of greenery, in terms of warm hospitality of the people of Rajamon, and that's what we know. This is the Oranyamon Museum and it's been, the, everything that is here has been done by volunteers. So we're very grateful to them because they used to use all their free time and they took everything that you see, they brought in, they went into the Spergebiet with their own cars on their own time and they brought everything here. So today you have a beautiful historical picture from the old charts that you see there, that the miners used in the Grillental, Charlottental, Idatal, in Luderitzbuch. You, you see how they lived, how they mined, how they sieved, how they extracted the diamonds. Thank you for coming out to your animal. First of all, uh, I would like to, to tell you about what we did to promote your animal so far. We, since February, the organizing team has been publicizing and uh, the competition and the excitement is quite high in our town. Uh, specifically for the upcoming tourism expo. We've learned that diamonds are not forever. So we need to diversify our local economy and for that reason we are looking into tourism and since we are so well located to one of the biggest economies of Africa, South Africa and we had an agreement with Northern Cape Tourism Board, we are busy to, 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 to strengthen those links with them. Um, well, we came to Oranimut in 2008 and um, the town, as I'm looking at it right now, the town has changed a lot and it is full of a lot of potential. The schools here are great, they provide um, great education and the teachers have great teaching skills and um, it is a great education to have here in Oranimut. I think that everybody should vote for Oranimut for best small town. Uh, because it has a lot of potential and it is a beautiful town and it deserves to win. I'm Saman Petami from Ambrosia Samtenia Combined School, Oranjamun. Oranjamun is a remarkable town which, uh, which loves to show its unique characters and diamonds. Oranjamun contains one of the most spontaneous tourist attractions, which is the Orange River. This tranquil estuary empties itself into the Atlantic Ocean. And again!